let's begin this. So this is 2014's Unit 1, Paper 2, Rates Questions, right? So this, a solution of a helic acid here, um, that's an interesting helic acid, um, red, readily decomposes at room temperature with oxygen as the only gaseous product. The data in the following table or in the table below applies the decomposition of our aqueous helic acid at room temperature. All right, now we must deduce the order of reaction. How do we do this? What are we going to do? Which two experiments are we using? Oh my. All right. So let's. One and two. Okay. Let's use experiment one and two. Lovely. All right. So one and two. So what's happening to the initial concentrations here? Are they doubling? What's happening here? What's the change that we see in the concentration? Sir, I meant one and three. Oh, you meant one and three. Okay. All right, so let's use one and three. So you're saying we're using one and three, okay. So what's the change that we see in one and three? Is that doubling? Feels like it's doubling and it is doubling. So this is doubling, right? And what's happening to the rates? Are those doubling as well? They are doubling, right? So what's gonna happen here is that if it if yes sir so what reaction is this what what reaction first order right first order all right moving on calculate the rate constant for decomposition what do we look at the rate constant which reaction are we going to be using which experiment are we using K is going to be equal to the rate. Let's use um, um experiment one, zero point one two divided by the concentration here, which would be what, one point six times ten to ninety three. Into the negative. Um, 75. So, so the answer is 75. Okay, let me just calculate as well. And since we need the for let me bracket everything because this calculator likes to do extra stuff. 75 is the value as you stated. There is a 75 is the value. Right, that is calculate the rate constant for decomposition. That's K. So it's going to be 75. Right? 75 watts. What's gonna happen here is just canceling, you know. The units are technically gonna be per second. Because what will happen, you know, we're dividing the in the initial rate by the concentration. So these will cancel leaving per second at the top. Alright. Two marks. Mm, all right d magnesium filings were added to the remaining solution in 2c what observation expected what happens if we add magnesium filings to an helic acid what is expected what would we observe
What would you observe? Do we understand what is asked of us here? Do we understand what is being asked? No, sir. Okay. So we're First of all, the compound, what is the compound? It's a helic acid, right? A helic acid, right? And it's keep on decomposing, releasing oxygen. So regularly within this solution, we're going to have effervescence. We're going to have oxygen being evolved, right? It is an acid. An acid and a metal, right? The metal itself would actually increase the rate of reaction, right? Or actually allow for um, hydrogen gas itself to be released, right? Because you're reacting with an acid, right? If it's a helic acid, yes, right? So you're reacting the magnesium filings, right, with it. So what's it going to happen, you know? It's going to increase the rate at which gases are evolved. It's going to increase the rate of effervescence. We're going to see more violent bubbling, right? So anything that indicates more gas being released, that's what the mag magnesium filings will know. Um, allow us to observe it will increase the rate of reaction a rate of decomposition right or it will allow for hydrogen gas to be released it really doesn't matter but what we're talking about is the observation expected right we're gonna have increased effervescence increased bubbling increased release of gas makes sense right yes sir all right Outline the al an alternative experimental method to determine the rate of decomposition, right, of our helic acid at room temperature. Now we know that the decomposition of our helic acid produces oxygen. So what method can we use to determine the rate of reaction? Anybody? Anyone at all? So since it's producing a gas, we can use a gas syringe or you can use an inverted cylinder. And all you have to do is outline an experimental method. So if we're having a gas syringe, what we're going to do is allow for the... I'm not going to write it down, you know. So I'm going to allow for the acid right to decompose in a conical flask what we're going to do we're going to bung the conical flask specifically and attach a tube from the conical flask to the tip of a syringe right and if oxygen is going to be produced we're going to look at the rate of change of volume in the syringe in order to determine the rate of reaction four marks that's the end of the question all right so the gas syringe explain what the gas how the gas syringes work and you should be able to get that all right let's see something they use the word alternative in the question so let's see if they expressed something they did not express a specific thing that they used give me a second I'm look at it. no up here it says acid and bases all right so they didn't express a specific um thing they didn't express what method they're using so that means that the gas syringe should be suitable all right so you use that gas syringe we're gonna use the conical flask allow it to produce oxygen we're gonna bung the conical flask right and actually attach a tube coming from that to collect the gas and then attach a tube directly to a syringe and we're going to see at the rate of change of the volume in the syringe and that is the answer there <laughs>